Hey everyone, it's your boy Johnny B, your car guy at Barrel Subaru. And listen, the Subaru Forester is one of our most popular vehicles in our lineup. And the Forester Sport, which is what I'm going to give you a little quick uh, walk around on today, that is in our lineup one of the most popular Foresters. So here we go. Now, the Forester Sport comes in two different, uh, you have an availability of uh, picking up a package that has, it's an upgraded package from this one. This is the base Forester Sport. You can add on reverse automatic braking, Harman Kardon audio speakers. When we get inside, I'll show you the backup camera, but it'll go from a 6.3 uh, screen to an eight inch screen um, and Harman Kardon power rear gate. This one has a standard, you gotta open it yourself, uh, uh, rear gate. But first and foremost, you see the, uh, the LED uh, combo with the fog lights here. Now the sport trim level has got this orange trim all the way around it. You can see it down there at the bottom cladding right there. And it's up here where the tie down, uh, the tie downs are. So if you're one of those people that does kayaking or something like that, that's gonna be your tie down points. Uh, but it also comes with 18 inch black brushed alloy wheels. Again, like I said, back here, this particular model has a you open it yourself kind of mode. And you can get the upgrade that has the power rear gate. Um, but inside of this one, you've got a cargo tray. They call it a cargo tray, but it's just a, a plastic mat for the back. Uh, you've got a cargo cover. So that just keeps prying guys or, or, or people walking by your vehicle. See, you walk by there, can't see anything on the inside outside of that uh, cover right there. But there he goes, peek of it from the side. This is the Ice Silver, and the Ice Silver is a pretty interesting color because it's like a two-tone, if you will. Like right now, in direct sunlight with all the sun, uh, it is straight up uh, silver. But in overcast days, there's a blue tint to it that will come through, and, and you'll see it, a little blue U that will come through. Uh, it's a 2.5 liter four-cylinder engine, produces 182 horsepower. This, and all of its competitors, they're right about the same. And I will tell you that it is adequately powered. It is nothing that's gonna push you back in your seat or anything like that. But they run that 2.5 liter. So you can get this, 26 by the city, 33 by the highway. Overall, you'll more than likely average 29 miles to the gallon. Here it is from the side one more time. And it has the uh, symmetrical all-wheel drive, which is a full-time all-wheel drive system. It's one of the things that I will tell you if you're comparing this to other vehicles, it is the one that gives you the notch above because it is one of the best all-wheel drive systems on the market. It's a full-time system. So when I used to sell Nissans, and Nissans are still this way, Toyota's like this, Honda's like this. Uh, they run a part-time system, which means they will run in front-wheel drive for the majority of the time that you're driving. It isn't until there is wheel slippage before they convert to all-wheel drive. Where this guy, it, there is no split-second decision. There is nothing that you have to worry about. It's always in all-wheel drive. It's the closest thing to four-wheel drive that you can get. The sensors on the wheels are actually measuring how much traction each wheel has. And depending on that traction ratio, that's how the power is dispersed on the car. Making sure that the, the wheels that have the most traction get the most power. Pretty simple. All right, let's take a peek on the inside. We're gonna start with the back and the sport model has its own cloth interior and this is a really comfortable cloth interior. And you can see it's trimmed with the orange. It's not meant to be like every other Forester that you have out there or every other SUV. It's supposed to have a pop of color. Now, I have the front seat 
seated, uh, 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 adjusted to my height, which is 5'11". And you can see, I, I still have a couple of inches here of leg room. There you go. And as far as headroom goes, now I'm, again, 5'11", so I don't lack for any kind of space in the back seat. I really don't. Now, the Forester Sport will have power driver seat. You see that same red stitching on there. You have power windows, door locks, mirrors right there. This has the steering responsive headlights, which just means that it has high beam assist. So steering responsive headlights will bend around uh, turns as you're driving at night. And it'll also have high beam assist, so you can run it where it's in high, uh, high beams. Uh, and then when someone comes towards you, it kicks down to low beams. And then it will move back up to high beams as needed. So I just set those auto uh, lights with the fog lights on. Uh, that is the, did I forget to turn my headlights off switches? That's what I do with that. Uh, but full Bluetooth capability here. Part of the iSight driver assist, so this is an upgraded uh, next generation uh, iSight driver assist. It is just a better, more enhanced system. It runs the um, lane departure warning and forward emergency braking. It also covers the intelligent cruise control you have here with lane centering ability. Now, if you look there right in the middle, this S and I uh, button here, this is normal uh, operation of your engine. But if I hit that S, you can see that right there, that blue line represents the normal curve that you're gonna have with your power outlay. But if I hit that S button, you see the bump right up here. And all that's doing, it's, it's still gonna give you 182 horsepower. It's just gonna bring a lot of that power right to the front end of, the, uh, of your torque run, right? Right up front. There's the 6.3-inch uh, screen. Like I said, you can get the upgraded package. The upgraded package is about $2,000. Uh, it has a power rear gate in it, the upgraded audio system, the Harman Kardon audio system, uh, reverse automatic braking, and then this guy would be an 8-inch uh, back uh, screen. So, But you can see you can still have that big backup camera. These things are just telling you distances back there. You've got... Uh, seven feet, five feet, three feet, foot and a half from your rear bumper, right? It's got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Uh, so this particular one does not have navigation. However, once you uh, uh, connect up your phone uh, and put it in like you're going to charge it, it'll load your apps that are on your phone right on this screen here. So if you have nav on your phone, Google Maps, it'll load it right there. It's a pretty neat uh, system. Your, your, uh, it's a push button start here. It's got an intelligent key to it, so you cannot lock this in your car. The computer chip will not allow you to do it. And if your battery ever dies, and this is true of all manufacturers, if your battery ever dies on your key fob, you can get a key, uh, a battery down at like Target for like five bucks, something like that, uh, or you can come out to the dealership, we'll, we'll swap it out for you but you're never stuck because there's a computer chip in here. That's why these things are so darn expensive. So if your computer, your battery dies, all you have to do is lay it on the push button start. About three seconds later, the computer will recognize the chip here and you can just push it and it'll start your car. So you're never uh, out, uh, out on a limb without, without a matter of recourse, right? So uh, you can see the, the orange trim in here around the shift knob and the gear shift plus the red stitching here. That's part of the, the sport package. Now this has a dual X mode and uh, you've already got one of the best all wheel drive systems on the market, but they give you a different gearing ratio for snow and dirt and deep snow and mud. All it does is enhances the already great all wheel drive system. It's meant for low speed driving 18 miles an hour and under. You don't have to worry about, uh, you know, if you go over 18 mile, miles an hour about damaging the system because it just pulls you out of it. Um, and if you see this little green guy going down a hill right there, 
It also has a uh, heel descent control, which means it'll do all the breaking down a really bad heel as you're going down a bad heel. Um, you can take your foot off of the brake and just worry about steering the vehicle. Uh, this thing will keep you under five miles an hour with that braking. Uh, you've got electronic parking brake and automatic vehicle hold here. That's a pretty, uh, pretty neat thing where you can activate it. You'll see it there, it says AVH in green. And whenever you come to a full and complete stop, what it does is it keeps your brakes applied. You can take your foot off of the brake, the brakes will stay applied, and it doesn't disengage the brakes until you hit the accelerator. It's good for construction zones or if you get caught in an accident or if you're going up or down a hill and you don't want to slide back or forth. It's a really, really neat uh, feature. Uh, and your heated seats there. It's got an all-weather package, so the all-weather package includes heated seats. You'll see this guy right here where the rear defroster is? That's heated mirrors. And it's got windshield wiper de-icer, so there's a little thing underneath the windshield wiper, so um, it, it lessens the, the chance that you're gonna have frozen windshield wipers uh, in the wintertime. Now, standard on this guy is this dual panoramic. As you can see, it's a pretty, it's a pretty nice-sized um, uh, moonroof right there, uh, but that will open up all the way. And hey, first day of spring, we're still in February. It is 70, 67 degrees outside. Yay. I don't know if there's a big winter storm coming, but man, that groundhog could not have been more wrong, right? Because he was like more wrong. Is that even correct English? I don't even know. Um, but he couldn't have been any more wrong. Man, dude said six more weeks till uh, of winter weather, and we haven't gotten it, man. Yay, global warming. No, I'm just kidding with you. <laughs> That's a joke. Okay, uh, dual panoramic uh, moonroof that opens up all the way. Hey, listen, folks, uh, thanks for taking the time to check uh, this video on the Subaru Forester Sport out. If you have any questions, please drop it in the comments or you can just text me directly, 412-715-6755. Uh, that's my best number. It's my cell number. Uh, listen, uh, if you know anybody that's in the market, uh, share this video with them. Maybe this thing works for them. Uh, I'd love to help out. Uh, the best thing you can do for me is smash that like button. Put some comments in the comment section. That truly helps me out. Even if you're not in the market for a vehicle, that's the way that you can help me out. But again, any questions or if you need anything, 412-715-6755. All right, folks, that's it for me. Hope you enjoyed the little walk around. Enjoy this beautiful day. See ya.